These are my 10 favorite new home automation ideas I recently added and buckle down because some get a little crazy. Like this one I named Counter-Strike. Yeah, I love it and I can't wait to show you everything. First is an automation with these headphones. I am not a morning person, but I do feel a million times better when I work out in the morning. So I'm trying to make it as painless as possible. When I put on my open ear headphones and turn them on in the morning, it kicks off a few automations. That's right, the Bluetooth connection is the trigger for the automation. It's so cool. First, it starts playing my workout Spotify playlist on my phone and even starts up a stretching fitness activity on my Apple Watch. Once I finish stretching, that starts a new automation. On days of the week that I run, it will start the running workout on my Apple Watch. The other days, it will be a strength workout. And since I work out in the garage on the strength training days, my smart home will start pre-cooling that area using the Broadlink IR Blaster, which starts the portable AC. Now every morning, I don't have to remember what workout I'm gonna do, fumble with my Apple Watch. All I have to do is put on my headphones and my smart home does the rest. I love it. After working out, I'm in here showering, so this door is normally locked, and my kids will understand and patiently wait, right? I need to tell them something. Nope, so I made an indoor doorbell, but it's really way more than that. During the day when the door is locked because we're showering or something, if my kids press it, the smart speaker will let us know, it's probably nothing, but the kids need help, and try to resolve the situation on the other side. Just one second, they'll be out soon. But at night, the button completely changes. Press it before going to bed and all the lights turn off. Then if Allie hears something in the middle of the night, she can press it and the main lights turn on. Also at night, if something dangerous is happening, you can hold down the button for kind of like a panic mode. And it's just crazy all the things you can do with just one button. Now I'm about to leave, but sometimes getting out the door can be a little chaotic, so I can forget things. Like my wallet. It's so thin, which is great, but I can't feel it in my pocket, so I've left without it before. So I just press this on my phone when I know I'm about to head out. It unlocks the Tesla, starts the air inside, and checks to make sure I've grabbed my wallet. I have a contact sensor on the drawer that I keep my wallet in. If the drawer hasn't opened that day and I'm leaving, my smart home reminds me to grab it. You might be like, Ray, just check your wallet before you leave. And I do, but sometimes when I'm heading over to grab my wallet, I get distracted and I forget to end up getting it. So yeah, I get pretty easily just what are we talking about? Garages? When I'm away from the house and I'm about to head back, I want a few things to happen and I don't ask for much. I want the car and home temperature to be comfortable right when I walk in. Interior of that car to be 71 degrees exactly. Oh, and I want the garage door to open right before I pull up. The temperature thing is easy. Again, I press a button and it sets the temperature in the car and in my house back to a normal temperature. The garage door is a little more tricky. I've used location-based triggers and they're just not accurate enough. If I could only get the time it would take to drive home, minus a minute, and then open up the garage door at the perfect time as I'm rolling up to the house. Well, that's what I did. Yeah, that's right. The time to drive home is calculated, sent to my smart home, and is used as a timer to open up the garage right before I pull up. It's amazing. Now that I've got the garage door all figured out, it's time for the front door. We try not to leave our front door unlocked all the time, and many smart locks have that feature to automatically lock, but this can be more frustrating than it is helpful. Like if you're having a lot of visitors come over, or if you're standing and talking to someone in the doorway and the door just locks, it's annoying. Instead, if our lock has been left open for 30 minutes, we get a notification and a button right there to lock it. Perfect. Also, when our daughter comes home from preschool, the lock automatically unlocks before she gets home. Obviously, there's an override if we're on vacation, but it's very helpful. If we don't answer the door fast enough, who knows what could happen? Next is Counter-Strike, one of my favorite new automations, and Allie loves it. First, I want to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of this video, BetterHelp. As a busy husband and dad of three, it's important to take care of my mental health. And I've always liked the idea of therapy, you know, learning new skills for managing stress, anxiety, and all of that. But 
I've hesitated to do it because it always seems like such a hassle. There's an entire Curb Your Enthusiasm episode about breaking up with your therapist. I don't want to do that. So I tried out BetterHelp instead. I answered a few quick questions and they matched me with a therapist and they seemed good, but maybe not the right fit for me. So I clicked a button and I got a new one. So easy. My therapist was great and I just spoke with him on a video call and I wasn't sure going into it how it would all go, but it was very convenient to schedule an appointment and I liked the whole experience. Allie's using it too and it's been a way easier experience compared to the traditional therapy that she's used before. And if you want to try it out yourself, then click the link below or go to betterhelp.com slash smart home for 10% off your first month. Thanks to BetterHelp for supporting this channel. Okay, so this next automation was heavily inspired by Thurston from Norway, who submitted an automation to the channel two years ago. At night, it can be a little dark in the kitchen and sometimes I just need more light. So I set up an automation that if I'm doing something on the island counter, the pendant lights automatically get brighter. That's right, it's from the kitchen counter, not from motion. That's because there's actually a vibration sensor under the counter. It turns the lights bright so I can see what I'm doing. Then it turns the lights dim again after five minutes of no vibration movements. It's so useful to hit the counter for more light or counter strike. Get it? You know, striking the counter. Yeah, okay, you get it. Anyways, thanks to Thurston for the idea. I love this automation. Oh, and recently I went to Georgia and toured some of your smart homes. My mind is blown and I can't wait to show you the amazing things I saw. Make sure to hit subscribe and that bell notification to not miss those videos. Once the kids have gone down to bed, it's nice to veg on the couch for a bit. If the TV is off and the Bluetooth from my Apple Watch or phone says I'm in the family room, the smart speaker reminds me of the voice phrase to turn on my favorite show. Just say Siri, watch TV. Watch TV. That will kick off an automation to automatically pull up my favorite TV show. And I've shown this before, but I've made some improvements and now it's rock solid. I'll have some links below to our website or second channel that will talk more about how all these automations work. Here's what's even cooler. If I say the voice phrase, it will hear that it's me and play the TV show that I want to watch. But if my wife Allie says the exact same phrase, watch TV, the HomePods recognize okay, that it's her voice and plays the show she wants to watch. How crazy is that? Apple also released some updates recently. You can push a button on your phone to find the Apple TV remote. Finally, I've been waiting years for this, especially since the baby loves hiding the remote now. All right, when Allie and I finally get time to watch a movie together, it's nice to just focus on each other. And I mean the movie too. So when I press the button to turn on the projector, amp, lights, and all of that, the button also puts my phone in a movie focus mode. Basically, I can still get smart home notifications like if the kids need help, but everything else is silenced. The button also sends Allie a text message with a little phrase to put her phone in movie focus mode too. I think it's hilarious that I can change Allie's phone with a simple text message using Apple shortcuts. I mean, what am I gonna do next with so much power? Oh, and my phone also goes into focus mode at dinner time if I'm home. That way I can give my kids all my attention for family dinner. Now that we're all winding down for the night, it's time to start thinking about locking up. So our security alarm is automated on a schedule, but there's a lot of big annoyances with it. For example, I don't want my alarm to disarm in the morning if we're on vacation. Also, if one of us wakes up early and wants to go outside before the alarm normally disarms, it can be difficult to remember. And if we don't manually disarm it, well... <laughs> So I fixed all of that. Now we have a vacation mode in our smart home that will skip the alarm schedules and keep it in away mode while we're gone. And if we're home and someone gets up early, the contact sensor on any bedroom door will disarm the alarm after 6 a.m. That way if the kids wanna go play out in the backyard or if I have to leave early, we can avoid those false alarms. There's one more automation that runs while we sleep. You see, during the day, our baby has two main objectives. Destroy the house and throw as many crumbs and chunks of food on the ground as possible. Of course, that's not limited to the baby. So at 1 a.m., the nighttime cleaning crew is called in. If the robot vacuum hasn't cleaned that day, it turns on the quiet mode and only cleans the kitchen. Then the suction goes back to normal mode for the next time it does a regular clean. 
Sorry, little baby, you're no match for the smart home. So those are some of my favorite automations I've set up recently, and I'll put lots of links down in the description to help you set them up yourself. Thanks for watching. Whoa, a picture of us, our song, a nice text. You're so romantic. Wait a second, is this just some kind of scheme so you can buy something expensive? What? No!